What's up, y'all? I'm back. After some personal issues from last week, but let's just say most of those things are solved, so I feel comfortable enough to be coming back to doing this again. Welcome back to another Car Extra Facing Online vid for, and you guessed it, a Gymkhana build. This time's for the two Subarus, as I was going to do last Tuesday, but as said, personal things came up, and I uh, wasn't sure things were going to pan out. But they did, most, most part in the end. But in any case, hopefully this, does, hopefully the issues don't happen again. But that's besides the point. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm here to deliver what I was promising last week. Another four-wheel drive set, and this time it's for another. Pe this time it's for both the Lamborghini and Siberia WDC, or. The Super Forester in this one, that's Lava Jack, and the Impreza, well, the Impreza hatchback wagon. But we're starting off with the Lava Jack here. <sighs> it's been a week, like I said. Let's get into this, shes Your front spring length is going to be six centimeters. Rear spring length seven centimeters. Front rear spring stiffness one sixty. Front fast bump forty two hundred. Rear fast bump 5270. Mm. Rear front fast rebound 4300. Rear fast rebound 6620. Front bump 4700. Rear bump 5720. <clears throat> front rebound 4900. Rear rebound. Yeah. Rear rebound 5800. Front toe negative 0 0.30, rear toe negative 0 0.60, front camber negative 5.96, rear camber negative 3.06, front anti roll bar 95, rear anti roll bar 125, caster 0 degrees, Ackerman angle 50%, steering axis south, steady, kingpin angle inclination, both set at 0, and maximum steering angle for the setup will be 48 degrees. Front rear rim diameter 19 inches. Front rear tire width 285 millimeters. Front tire pressure 75 kPa. Rear tire pressure 300 kPa. Maximum pressure. Front rear wheel adhesion 100%. Wheel track 4. Rear bait 0. And tire profile front and rear. Front 2 rear 25%. Your transmission type, eh, it don't matter. Use what you like. If you want the whiny gear or the quiet, clinky one. Your financial type is going to be a spool. With your final drive, going to gear cluster will be set up as follows. Final drive, 4.30. First gear, 3.80. Second gear, 2.35. Third gear, 1.00. Fourth gear, 1.25. 5th gear 1.05 and 6th gear will be 0 0.85 brake torque 2700 front bias at 75% ABS recommended to be active and launch controls no Your top speed for this thing is fully set up as follows. 141, which is 0 to 60 at 2.45 seconds. Peak power at 6750 RPM, 718 horsepower. And your maximum torque at 4000 RPMs will be 903 Newton meters. <laughs> and I'll be set up for the Lambert Jack now. Let's go, uh... Well, first things first. Yes. Take her out to a session. <laughs> mm. Now you wonder why I got so less of lobbies? Well, I'm only I'm only looking for sessions that have permitted tra tire traction ratings of one hundred of one hundreds. I've tried 90s and those are easy. 
Whoever said they're like the hardest thing to drift on is only fooling themselves. Like genuinely it is. I even drifted on a Y had I had my Spark ZR or my C6 Corvette a thousand horsepower. It's a pedal fest, but it works. It's easy, it's not hard to do. <sighs> Sorry y'all who runs 90 adhesions all damn day, but this guy knows what he's doing. And look what he's saying. 90 adhesion is literally a trainee's tire. And I mean if y'all find it satisfying to drift on, so be it. That's that's you. Rest of us, well, you know what I mean. 110's hardly ever used. I dr had been drifting on for like a good year at least, and nobody uses them. So, and 120 that's pretty much a track, like track car tire, tr track racing tire. So, those are my thoughts on that, and probably probably best professional opinion of it really. I mean, there's 120 adhesion still used in drifting, but ever since the physics changed from I guess, I don't know which update was it, 1. Point, update 2.15 I think it was? 1.2.14? I don't know, it's one of those two. I quit using any of the higher grip adhesions. Unless I'm on, you know, doing time attack, but that's about it. Ah, here we are. Alright, I'll be back after this short intermission. Should just be done about looting. There we go. Oh, where the warning? The engine sound for the Lamberjack is ultra quiet. I do not know why. Like, I just don't get why some of the engine sounds for some of the stock block cars are just so quiet and some of the swaps are louder than most. I mean, let me, let me show you here. As long as I don't get ejaculated into space. Mm, I only got my sounds turned down to a certain level so that way people could actually hear me speak. But even with those engine swaps, they feel like they're like way up into the hundreds. So there's like improper sound tuning in this game for real. Fourth gear may be a tad bit tall, but oh, come on now. Maybe a tad bit tall, but it'll be fine. Let's take her out to the open side of things.
this might be debatable on you know how this thing behaves, but still. Then again, it's been a week. What hell of a week. Oh shit, 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 shit. Uh. That's that for the lumber that lumberjack, lumberjack, whatever the hell. They call it the lumberjack on drift racing too on the mobile version. And they call it lumberjack here, I swear to god. Why are they gonna make things confusing? Anyways, that's it for the lumberjack. On to the Siberia WDC. Now this thing will come stock with this body type, so technically it's a uh, Jim Connor car to start with, but I believe it's also a Rallycross car, if I'm not mistaken. But enough about that. Let's get on to the tune for the full drive setup. Front spring length 10 centimeters, rear spring length 9 centimeters. Ow! Hmm. Ow! Hold up. Alright, a little. Headphones sitting on one spot for too long, kinda mm, uneasy on one there. Rear spring loose, 9 centimeters. Centimeters, oh boy. Yeah, I am. Um, yeah, my brain's fried. <clears throat> Front rear spring stiffness, 160. Front fast bump, 5300. Rear fast bump, 6250. Front fast rebound, 12,300. Rear fast rebound, 13,040. Front bump, 8,930. Rear bump, 9,800. Front rebound, 21,000. Rear rebound, at its maximum of 22,000. Front toe, negative 0.30. Rear toe, negative 0.60. Front camera, negative 4, uh, negative 5.97. Damn, damn near cross my fours and fives together. Rear camber, negative 3.06. Front anti roll bar, 95. Rear anti roll bar, 125. Caster angle, 0 degrees. Accurate angle, 50%. Steering axis offset and keypin angle inclination set to 0. And maximum steering angle for this vehicle will also be 48 degrees. Front rear rim diameter, 20 inches. Front rear tire width, 285 millimeters. Front tire pressure, 75 kPa. Rear tire pressure, 300 kPa. Maximum tire pressure. <coughs> Front rear wheel adhesion, 100%. Front wheel track, 6. And rear base, 0. And tire full file front to rear will be 30%. And of course, that dreaded glitch. The transmission type can either be sequential or standard, it does not matter. It's more of a sound effects thing. As said in the description. Your differential type, differential type will be a spool. Now your final drive and gear clusters will be set. Final drive ratio, 4.30. First gear, 3.80. Second gear, 2.53. Third gear, 1.70. Fourth gear, 1.40. 5th gear 1.20, and 
and 60.95. I'd probably be recommended to probably write this down for the uh, Lamborghini because I think I kind of screwed that up. But oh well, too late. It is what it is. But so that's just my work for it too. Actually, any of these gear cluster, many of these gear clusters should work for it. So getting off track. <clears throat> Brake torque 29.90. Front bias. 75%. ABS recommended to be active and launch controls, no. Fully set up, this thing's st stats are as follows. 146 miles in there for top speed. 0 to 60 in 2.37 seconds. Max, it's peak horsepower at 7120 RPMs. 753 horsepower. And its torque at 4,300 RPMs is 899 newton meters. <laughs> I wish you could let us see the actual torque numbers in, you know, pound feet after it's all said and done, but it's whatever. I guess, well, I'm a North American. I am a American. Uh, anyways. <laughs> Onward to another station. Hey! Well, that's not appropriate. Take her out to a daytime session with the OSD crew. See if they're actually around. Be back at the short intermission. And here we are. Broad daylight to this toge. Yeah, it probably as recommended as I said last, before we came out to the session. It'd probably be better to use this gear cluster on a Lamberjack so it'd be, well, smoother. But I think a Lamberjack is like a heavy old bird to start with and just makes things kind of tricky to handle work that car. Uh, that's besides the point. Well, you say you want backwards entries, you got that. Yeah. Ah, so buttery. Oh, yeah. I don't get no points for going completely but bass accurate, but still. Anyways. That's a tune for the Siberia WDC, along with the Lamborghini. Uh, it feels good to be back doing this. But, other than that, y'all have a fantastic day, and remember, obey your local traffic laws. Might go one more lap for this.